Well, 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 we meet again. So I am outside of my Bloxburg mansion right now, and as you guys can tell, um, this is going to be very, very different because I'm going to be doing a house tour today. Um, so I've been doing this series where I've been basically doing a Bloxburg fixer upper slash redecorating my Bloxburg home. If you guys haven't been following up on the series, um, definitely go check out the videos. There'll be a playlist linked um, somewhere in the video that you guys can go ahead and check out because I completely transformed this house from basically from what it used to be before as you can see it is 1.5 million dollars in the original build um was about 1.1 million dollars fully finished and fully furnished so obviously we have a brand new home that i'm going to showcase to you guys today um with a house tour so without further ado let's just start with the outside so obviously the outside has changed we removed basically an entire fence that went around the little remnants of the fence is over there by the pool. Um, we had new um, mountains that were added here as well. Um, some sleds are still outside. I got to move those inside. And then um, some snow is still melting off of our trees and bushes. Um, the driveway did get a little bit of an upgrade um, that has changed. Over here, we have brand new pathways with a lot more scenery. And over here, we have a brand new pool area where basically everyone's just going to hang out and stuff. So all in all, the outside has had a major makeover. And I thought I'll just give you a tour of the entire outside now. Okay, so that was pretty much the outside of the house, and now we're going to make our way towards the front door slash foyer area. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tour on that, and you can definitely see some icicles that are still melting up there. Oh my god, when I was removing all these decorations, I thought I had them all, but I guess I didn't. Um, anyways, over here in the foyer area, we 
have this entire thing redone over here. Now the door, you have your little doorbell that you could ring. Um, we did add, I did end up adding more um, the pillar, finishing the pillar up there. But now when we walk in, we have the foyer area, which has been completely transformed. In the series, we knocked down this wall that was um, from the foyer to the living room. We changed this door frame right here. We added this area up here, which I um, really like. It gives it like a wall detail. Um, some wall squares and up here as well. We just added some stairs, but we didn't add these. We just changed up the stairs a little bit. So here's just a little bit of a tour montage of the room. So that's pretty much the foyer area and now we're going to make our way inside of this hallway which all the hallways I didn't decorate on camera. I've been decorating them off camera which I think they look pretty amazing, pretty cute. But in here we have the kids slash teen room that we also redecorated as well with the bathroom that has been fully furnished, fully finished which turned out amazing. I pretty much love it. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tour montage of this um, room. That's pretty much the room that we have over there now. And in here we have our little toddler room, which I really like. And I'll give you guys a little tour montage. Okay, so that's that room finished. And now we're going to make our way upstairs from the foyer to the upstairs area and down over here to the balcony. The balcony is not going to have a tour montage because basically there's nothing really to show off on the tour except that there's just stuff changed in here. Um, so we're basically going to take a look at all the changed rooms that we have done in this series and all the unchanged rooms we're going to leave out and I'll just do a little bit of those at the end of the video. So now we're going to head back inside and now we're going to go into one of the first rooms over here that we had redecorated, which is what I call the guest room. So here is a little tour montage of the guest room. So that's the guest room right there and now we're going to go ahead and head over to basically not this room because okay number one there's a story behind this room i was doing this room as a video that i never posted so uh, yeah so we're gonna head over to this room over here which is my sister's room and i'll give you guys a little bit of a tour montage of this room
Okay, so that was that room finished. And now we're going to head downstairs because this room has been unchanged since the start of this series. Um, so we're going to go ahead downstairs and we're going to go take a look at this side of the house right in here into the living room. And I'll give you guys a nice little tour montage. So that's the living room over there and now we're going to go ahead over to another room which the bathroom is in there which we're not going to show you guys off we'll show that after and here we have our laundry room which is amazing now i'll give you guys a little tour of montage <laughs> So that is the laundry room over there, and now we're going to go ahead over to another room that is just down this hall. We have two rooms, so I'm going to go into another bedroom, which I call the duck room, which is one of my friend's rooms. So let's give you a little bit of a tour a montage. So that is that room and then we're going to go ahead over here and to the weight room that was recently redecorated so I'll give you guys once again another tour montage which is the theme on all of these um, rooms so far. So that completely completes one side of the house and now we're going to go head over to the other side of the house which we've had a couple of rooms that have been redecorated in this series that were over here on this side of the house. So first things first we kind of have the little kitchen area over here and it's still being redone so I'm not going to give you guys a little bit of a tour montage of this room but you can kind of just see I'm trying to color match some walls over here. Um, I'm trying to do um, some stuff in here as well. So this is pretty much what the room kind of looks like. So if you um, haven't seen the video, um, the cabinets used to be white in the in the old um, in the video I posted, but this one it is different now. Um, I changed it back to gray. Um, this kitchen is going to go through a lot of iterations before the house is actually finished. So um, yeah, that's why I'm not going to do a tour montage. But one of the things I do love that's over here on this side of the house is the pivoting doors. I just have no place where I want to actually put the table yet, so hopefully that gets a permanent position somewhere. So now we're going to go ahead over here to this part of the house that is right here, which is the nursery, and I'll give you guys a little nice little tour montage of the, nur of the nursery. <laughs> So that's the nursery, and this was actually one of the, the first room I did in this series. So if you guys have never seen that part of the series, definitely go check it out because it looks pretty nice and cozy and cute. Now we're going to go ahead upstairs for the last room on the upper levels um, that we have redecorated, which is the master bedroom. And I'm going to give you guys the best tour montage ever for this room because it's my bedroom.
So that is the last room on the upper levels and now we can finally make our way down towards the basement area. And we can finally, and I can finally show you guys some of the rooms that we have done on the series, whether it was decorating or redecorating. So we're going to head over down to floor zero. And now we are down here on floor zero. Obviously this room on here has changed as there's some rooms in here that are going to be decorated and it's going to probably be on live stream. So definitely take a look out for that. So first things first, we have the nice little study room area. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tour montage of this room as well. Even though this wasn't a part of the Box Break Quicks or Upper series, this room, this room has been since then changed since the previous version. So I count it as that. So here is a little bit of the tour montage of this room. <laughs> So that is that room finished, and now we're going to go ahead over to the other side of the basement. And this room hasn't changed since the start of the series, but this room was redecorated before the series. So definitely, you guys can just check this out over here. As you can see, my full-blown garage. Now, if we head over in this area, which we go to the previous episode, which is over here, we're going to check out this room over here, which is just a normal bedroom. Obviously, this bedroom is kind of like small, so I'm just going to just um, do a tour of this right now. As you guys can definitely see, this room has a lot of decorations in it and uses a lot of different textures, which I do love. Now we're going to go ahead over here to the home cinema that we did in last week's video. So if you guys haven't seen that, definitely go check that out because we did this room already and you guys have already seen it. Um, but anyways, that is with all, all the rooms that we have done in this redecorating my blocks for Home series. Now we're going to go ahead and check out the rooms that have stayed the same since the series um, basically started apart from this room right here. So if we head over on this side over here, we kind of have my little storage area which I kind of like it, it's going to stay because it's just meant to be cluttered and old because it is a storage area. You're not meant to update storage areas, I guess. Um, and in here is just a bedroom that we're going to be decorating on a live stream. So definitely check out my live streams. Um, and then in this door over here, um, this was a recent addition to the house. Um, it's just going to be another bedroom down here. Or maybe I could turn this into a bathroom because there's like only one bathroom down here. Now we're going to head back upstairs to the next floor because there's obviously some other rooms that have stayed unchanged throughout this entire series. So we're going to head to floor one. So now we're on floor one and now we're going to go check out some of the rooms that have stayed unchanged. With this room over here just being a bedroom that we are definitely going to redecorate because it uses all the old windows. And the bathroom is just all the bathrooms. So you can definitely just get a note of what all the bathrooms kind of look like. Now, if we head up these stairs over here, which the hallway has stayed the same a little bit, um, in here is just my home office that has um, stayed relatively unchanged, but with the linen textures in here, I gotta change those because I've been moving away from linen. So now we're gonna head back downstairs and we're gonna head back over towards near the foyer area, but not near the foyer area because if down in here we have basically, I think, two or three rooms. So the bathroom obviously is just the same as all the other bathrooms. But in here, we have a bedroom that has stayed unchanged. So in here, you can definitely just see this, this bedroom. Um, it's just in the old style of the rooms that I have done before with all the linen and stuff. So now we're going to go ahead over here to another bedroom that is just right here that has stayed unchanged as well. It's just it's a smaller bedroom and it's kind of cute. So now we're going to head back up those stairs for the last room on this tour. I'm going to bring you guys on which is just upstairs up up here and we're going to go into this area now i have a lot of ideas for this area and here is just a bathroom same old same old and then here we have the the bedroom that i was going to redecorate um but never got into the point in the series so anyways that's all i have for this series um and i think that's a nice little closure to the end of the series if you guys don't know 
Um, this was a Bloxburg Fixer Upper series where, where I basically have just been redecorating my entire Bloxburg house to change it into more of the modern eras of Bloxburg. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me on this series and hope to see you guys as I move this series to live streams. So definitely go ahead and check those out because they are amazing. Without further ado, I think I'll end the video here. So please leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this and you are hoping to go ahead and join me on the live streams. So thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Bye now. Thank you.